Welcome back! And so I recorded a whole episode and turns out my mic was off. So I'll give you a quick summary. We managed to make a magma forge and magma smelter and we struck a hematite, meaning we have a lot of iron now, which is amazing. Um, we also have aluminum, quite a bit of aluminum as last episode, and a good amount of zinc and iron. As I said before, and silver, we have some silver, which is good, and of course copper. We are cutting our gems, and if we go down from our mine, I, I created a little area, which we can turn into our big main, main dining hall, which is nice. And the dwarves are working really hard on it. Um, our food supplies are okay but we have very little drink so i'll go back to you see if anything changes okay so I, I managed to breach the caverns not just because we need to but because i need water this whole place has no salt has only salt water and the dwarves require water to survive because our drink supply is quite low in fact it is at one because the dwarves are just drinking it down and we need water so now the dwarves have to drink from this pool at the bottom of the caverns the first layer of the caverns so yeah although not the greatest um it'll have to do okay so i didn't mention this specifically in the um recap but we have a lot of metal so i started I drew this for um, the occasion, and yeah, pretty happy with it. Uh, I just wanted to show you what our dwarves look like, so on the screen is going to appear a little drawing that I did. And there it is. Yeah, uh, they look a bit interesting. I really like it, actually. So migrants seem to have arrived, and uh, quite a few of them now. From 17, we're now up to almost 30, 29. Which is quite interesting. I was wrong. There's in fact more than 20 dwarves who have migrated to our fortress on boats, I would assume. Which is, um, uh, kind of scary. Our food supply is not very good. Well, it's okay, but not the best. And I don't know if we could feed them all. They'll need. Hopefully, they brought some. They didn't bring anything of interest to us right now so that's a bit sad but hopefully with a huge boost of population we should get some artifacts flowing and with many dwarves come some problems we now have a farmers guild but also with many dwarves comes interesting items such as our uh, masterwork bed which is quite interesting hopefully it's good Okay, so one of the um, uh, the farmers guild in have demanded a guild hall, which I accepted. Obviously, I don't want to make my dwarves upset. So I just dug away this big area that used to be part of our mine. I'm gonna smooth it up, and it's gonna be their guild hall. And with that, uh, it seems that our drink situation is getting better. And with that, it's the end of the video once more. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully next video we get some artifacts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Today was pretty productive, huh? We got a bunch of, um, more drinks, and, um, uh, things are going pretty good. Yep. Have a nice day.